Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have two Master Lock Magnum Locks. These locks were sent to me by bbtelpix66 on Reddit or bbtelpix on Instagram. I'll have his information in the description. He sent these locks to me. I picked them and then he asked me to kind of redo that and um, kind of give more explanation as to what I'm doing and how I'm achieving um, the pick. So that's what, so I'm reshooting these. I have picked them already. Um, to start off with, I'm using a 0.4 millimeter um, multi pick. It's the V41. So first with master locks, I tend to use a little heavier pressure. Um, I find that it's a little easier with the heavy pressure to find the pin that's binding and get the clicks out of it. As long as I stay on the tip of the pin. It's a little bit easier for me with heavier pressure to find those pins. Now, I and normally what I would do is put just enough pressure. You can see that the core flexes, and then once that core stops, that's where I stop pressing. One, once it's over to where it's going to be, that's as much pressure as I put in. And then you have to be really sensitive to the the clicks. They're they're really soft this way. It tends to take me. A little bit longer and I can hear pins dropping and, and everything so yeah so my normal technique that I would use with tension doesn't seem to work so well for me on master locks so I put in a little bit heavier tension so that I have an easier time feeling but now I'm kind of lost as to what's going on with the locks, but. There we go. So I, at this end of that, I put in a little bit heavier pressure so I could start finding stuff. So I feel like the master locks and similar locks to have low tolerances kind of give newer pickers a false sense of what tension should be. I carried that tension pressure into doing American locks. And I got away with it most of the time. But I had one lock that I'd put in heavy tension and I'd overset and uh, couldn't set pins. And they would just click really, you know, they'd just start clicking really easy and, you know, going into overset super easy and never stopping and stuff like that. Because I'm not picking the pin that's binding, but I'm picking one that's partially binding and, and it'll go up and it feels like I should be picking it. And then next thing I know, it's overset. And then everything's loose. Um, so I feel like you have to learn how to pick Americans. And actually that's where you start learning how to actually tension when you get above these locks with low tolerances. It actually took me a challenge lock from Goose 7736, I think is the number, or 34, 32, I don't know. Um, but at his lock, uh, Nest 1, I had to use feather light tension for that and that taught me to use light tension and how to use the light tension and that's what I've started using since then but these locks you can kind of ham fist a little bit more and um, get away with it and in fact I feel like I need to use it on these a lot of times um, but it does develop a bad habit so try you know when you pick your mass locks and you're switching you got to learn a whole new world of tension so I'm going to go with this master lock, same type of thing. Um, with this one, you heavy tension and you start picking and the pin will drag and then it'll click and stop. That's where you want to stop at with it. So just going down through, see if I can get, get the camera view here. There we go. And it felt like I picked three pins there. I went down three pins 
and I uh, got click out of two and three, so I thought I'd come back to number one. When I came back to number one, it jumped over into what feels like a false set because this lock is a puck lock, so it it takes a little bit of kind of jiggling to get it free. But once it went into what feels like a false set, it's open. You just have to kind of um, I don't know if you kind of saw that, but I had to kind of jiggle it to get it open. It, I couldn't just even there. I can't muscle it straight back. If it kind of hangs up. And, and drag quite a bit so puck locks take a little bit of work just because their their motion isn't real fluid but but that's it that's how i do master locks in general i tend to use a little bit heavier pressure so like if you're if you're moving on to american locks from something like this remember that you're gonna start lighting up your pressure and you're going to learn how to tension uh all over again and tension properly for for these nicer locks as they get even nicer and nicer that's all i have if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i will get hopefully get back to you and get an answer for you but thank you for stopping by and have a great rest of your day